This is spearfishing. Free diving down, shooting and extracting a fish will try not to black out from a lack of oxygen or get eaten by a shark. It really is the most challenging and rewarding sport. I started the sport when I was only nine years old and I've loved every second of it. The people, the places, the clear water, and whatever swims up from it. This year, I was lucky enough to dive outside my home waters on a trip to Costa Rica. When people think of Costa Rica, they usually think of the jungle, but I see it completely differently. I think of the tuna. Costa Rica has a very unique tuna fishery. The tuna are massive and follow pods of dolphins to bait balls. Costa Rican fishermen have been following the dolphins to find tuna for years and to become a part of the fishing culture and community. Just because you can find tuna doesn't mean they are easy to land. You have to control a racing heartbeat and quickly dive down and swim as deep as you possibly can. The longer you stay down, the greater chance a tuna swims by, but the greater the risk of a shallow water blackout. My first day spearfishing, I only had a real gun, which is a spear gun that has a reel attached to the base of the gun, and you have to fight the tuna with your bare hands. After months of build up to this trip, I finally took my first drop. I see the tuna swim up, I line up a shot, and I miss. A few dives later, the tuna swim back, and this time, I hit my mark. Now that we have enough fish to feed our family, we start going after bigger tuna. But a big tuna on a real gun requires a perfect shot or you risk using your gun or your life. After a few more hours of searching, the dream tuna finally swims close and I pull the trigger. The only way I was able to land this fish was if we fought it from the boat. And lucky for us, we had a really strong boat mate. This let me stay in the water to guide the lines and defend the tuna if necessary. After what felt like a long fight, we get the fish to the surface and it's massive. The tuna easily weighed over 100 pounds and is a fish I'll never forget. We dove the rest of the day, but we knew we couldn't top that fish and we knew the amazing dishes that waited at home for us. The next morning, I waste no time putting another tuna in the boat. Today, I was able to borrow a float and float line and it made light work of the tuna. We then switched to searching for mahi mahi and quickly found a floating tree loaded with life. My dad didn't waste any time and quickly put some nice mahi in the boat to end our last day of a trip I'll never forget. 